Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm here in my living room and I'm going to be incorporating some false touches into the space to make it warm and cozy. Now I do tend to go towards the traditional colors of the oranges and the burgundies and things like that because I love to incorporate what's happening outside my home, inside my home. And I do live here in Canada, so I get a very beautiful fall season. I'll be adding in some textures, lots of textures with blankets and pillows, and of course the florals that I'll be adding in. So I hope that you enjoy this video, you get some inspiration to add some fall into your space. So without any further ado, let's get to decorating this living room for fall. start here on my coffee table with this little arrangement that I've had up throughout the spring and summer. Sometimes it doesn't take much to just add a few little fall touches. Here I'm just incorporating some of my favorite picks and some of my leaf picks as well into the greenery that's already there and changing up the candle and this will give me the starting point for my fall living room. I love the way this came together and it really was so simple and so easy to do and didn't require much effort at all. incorporating items that you already have on hand you'll not only save yourself some time but also some money and sometimes it's just giving what you already own a fresh new look and a fresh idea for the season I love the way this came together it is exactly what I had hoped for to my fireplace mantle here is a look at what the current status is nothing spectacular it was very simple throughout the spring and summer and I will be using some of these items again and again I'm going back into my decor stash and pulling out some of my favorite picks to make a beautiful floral arrangement here in this vessel that you will notice throughout this video is a number of outfit changes that's because I do a little bit each day step back live with it and then see what I like and don't like and try to edit or change things around I'm constantly doing that take your time with your decor don't try to get it all done in one day it can be so frustrating believe me I have lived through that and also you'll notice with the outfit changes I go from sweaters to tank tops and everything in between because our weather is just so crazy right now what's the weather like where you are one day we are very very cool real fall weather and then we're suddenly put back into the heat of the summer so you'll see a number of different outfits but again I encourage you to take your time and live with it and change it up as you feel you need to these leaf picks into this arrangement so that they relate back to the leaves that I added into my centerpiece on my coffee table and that will help to unite the two arrangements together in the room. Over on this end of the fireplace mantle I have these two beautiful frames. The bigger one 
came with that beautiful print inside and I just used it and the other one I got off Etsy but I hadn't yet gone on Etsy to look for some fall prints so spoiler alert I do change these up later on in the video and I can't wait to show you what the prints are that they've and how they turned out they are so beautiful and I will leave a link to that Etsy account down in the description box in case you are interested in looking at similar ones for yourself Here in this corner is my favorite spot in the living room. It's my little reading chair where I just love to sit and look out the window and watch all the activity that goes on. We have almost like a, my husband and I always laugh, it's like a little um, sanctuary out there, all the little critters that are running around, but I'll be able to see all the trees changing as well. So I just decided to add a cozy blanket and a pillow for my chair. And then over here on the sofa, um, the sofa is nothing spectacular. We are hoping to buy one maybe in, within the next few months. We're not crazy about it, but for now it's what I have to live with and work with. And the pillow cushions that I have are from Amazon. Their matching pairs are upstairs on my bed because I just love them. So I split them up and I think they work really well together. didn't film decorating this cabinet um, just because it's a little bit awkward and I really struggle decorating it usually but this time it seemed to come together this cabinet was inherited from my in-laws when they both passed on and it was a treasured item of my mother-in-law so I'm very honored to have it in my home um, sometimes I do find it a little difficult to decorate but for some reason the fall decor just came together this time so I'm going to give you a little glimpse of what I did inside And here's another day and I've decided to bring this basket into my living room at the base of my fireplace mantle and I'm just going to fill it up with a couple of blankets that I have had. Now this next, this plaid one is actually a blanket scarf. Do you remember those ladies when we used to wear those with our winter coats? I have had this for years and years and the colors in it are perfect for fall. I have actually used this as a table runner or as a blanket over a chair and now I'm just going to drape it into the basket with the other uh, cream colored blanket and this pillow and add in some more fall touches. For instance, these pine cones are actually from the dollar store. Cannot tell you how many years I've had those as well, but I thought they would look so pretty draping out here and I'll add in a few more touches to tie it all in together with the rest of the room. day I finally downloaded some fall prints from Etsy these are gorgeous I just love the moodiness of them and they're just so so pretty they fit in these frames perfectly I just had them printed down at a local um, camera shop actually I live in Canada so I don't have a Walgreens or anything like that but I just go down there and print them off at their kiosk and oh my goodness I love these so much so I'm going to redo the mantle you're going to see a couple of other little changes here and there and I am in love with the way the mantle has come together <music> At 
this end of the mantle, I decided to switch out the pots that originally I had used here and in the cabinet in the corner. So I took the darker one and I'm all I'm doing is just transferring both arrangements into the other uh, planters and I love the way this came out. This pot is a little bit bigger and a little bit higher, more substantial, and it gives a much better presence and a much better showcase for this arrangement, which I absolutely love. I think it's stunning. And then I just placed another little decor piece that I've had lying around the house beside it, and I love the way it came together. film this part either this is over on my tv stand and i will show you the corner cabinet now with the floral arrangement um, changed up in the pot but over here i just took my dough bowl and did a quick little arrangement with some picks that i had lying around you can see pumpkins and some burgundy uh, mum flowers some pumpkins and some acorns all in this dough bowl and i placed it on this shelf on my um on my TV stand and I love the way it looks. I'm actually getting very emotional watching these clips back because I see the pictures of my grandbabies there and my husband and I, those photos are when our grandbabies were first born and when the, our granddaughter was born and then when our grandson was born, we mimicked the same pose with them. And now we're going to have a third in 2025. So I'll have another one to do. But this clip is just showing you everything that is our hearts here in our home, the cabinet from my mother-in-law, our pictures of our grandbabies. We just love them. And then down here, pictures of our children. It's, it's a very special place in this room now. Yes, I'm switching up the pillows on the sofa because I walked into my home sense on this day and almost squealed with delight when I saw a bin full of these pumpkin pillows. I could not believe my eyes. I think this is the first year we have ever had anything like that and I was just so excited and I had to pick up this little cream colored, uh, taupe colored pumpkin pillow. It is so soft and yes, I had to jump on that trend, that bandwagon and pick one up for the house. This little table is next to my husband's chair. I kept it very minimal because he does not like a lot of clutter on his table and this is actually a little bit too much for him, but I think it works and I love the way it turned out. It's just very subtle. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some of your time with me today as I decorated my living room for fall. I hope that it gave you a little bit of inspiration to add subtle little touches around your home. I love the way this feels. It feels so warm and cozy and I love all the vibrant colors. This will really match what I see outside my living room window very soon. And if you have any, looking back at this clip, look at those cords there. That is terrible. I've got to fix that. <laughs> But I want to thank you once again. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to do that and join my little community here. I really appreciate each and every one of you that stop by and watch my videos. Until I talk to you in my next one, guys, I really hope you have a happy and safe week. Bye.